Robin, I'm going to talk about you on YouTube. <laughs> Did she hear? Is she coming? Well, maybe I don't want her to hear this anyway. All right, if you follow this channel for a while, you have met my wife, Robin. You've seen her in a few Q and A's. She's helped me pick the best date night colognes and she's even chosen what she believes to be my best outfits ever. She's not gonna be on today, but I'm gonna talk about her because we've been married for about five years now. And in that time, I've learned a lot from her about life that has definitely made me a much better person than before I met her. So let's jump right into the five life lessons that Robin has taught me. So I am an only child and I am an INTJ. I'm not very outgoing. I like to kind of keep to myself. I'm quiet and I'm comfortable just sitting quietly with someone and not really speaking. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't feel weird or anything like that. Robin, on the other hand, is not that way. Can we roll that clip? Keep things in. I'm not a big communicator, but you are. Well, I might be an over communicator, so I think there is the balance of. She said it, not me. Robin loves to talk about how she feels. Doesn't come naturally to me. I guess it's kind of weird though when I think about it because in work scenarios, I'm pretty upfront with people. Like if I have an issue with someone or they did something to me off or whatever, I will immediately address that thing with them. So yeah, it's weird that I don't apply that to our relationship, but it's something that Robin has helped me with and it's definitely improved our relationship and certainly made me more confident in other situations as well. One thing I have always loved about Robin is her natural beauty. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup and when she does, it's just kind of to enhance her natural features, not like to cover anything up or anything. She looks the same in the morning when we wake up next to each other as she does midway through the day. I like that. And that's not a miracle. That is because she takes obsessively good care of her skin. Every day, morning and night, she goes through this routine because it's important to her, because she knows that the only way to maintain her great skin, her great complexion, and especially as she gets older, to stay looking youthful, is to have that routine and not wait until it's too late. I really admire that, but I'm a guy, and I see all these things that she uses from all these different brands, and to me, that seems kind of overwhelming. I mean, I care about it, but I personally need a solution and routine that is simplified in every way and, and just laid out there for me. That's why I have absolutely loved Tej Hanley, who I'm proud to partner with for today's video, because they literally give me everything that I'm looking for and that I need. So if Tej is new to you, all you really need to do to get started, to do the things that you need to do, is their basic plan. Face cleanser, exfoliating scrub, AM moisturizer with SPF to protect your skin from the sun, and PM moisturizer for that important repair process that goes on while you sleep. Personally, because I am pushing 45 years old, I really like uh, Tija's level three system because it includes a firming serum and an eye cream. Now, I said this really simplifies things for me, so let me explain exactly what I mean. And it starts as soon as you get the box in the mail. You open it up and then you see this card. And this card is everything, it tells you exactly what to do, when to do it, and how much of the product you need to use. Other than the fact that these are amazing products and I've seen real results in the year and a half that I've been using it, the fact that they lay everything out so simply and clearly is one of the best parts. And then when you subscribe, you don't even have to think about running out of something because it automatically comes to your door every month. So in addition to great skin, when you join Tej, there are tons of perks as well, at least 20% off the retail price. You can customize your box, you get shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time. There are no hassle refunds and they offer free US shipping as well as low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, you guys are gonna get a great deal. Just click the first link in the description to get Tej Hanley for 30% off. And you can also choose a dop kit, hand towel, or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift with your first purchase. So click that link to get started today. Okay, let me just say that I am not a sloppy person. I hope that you can probably tell that if you know me through these videos. Sometimes though, 
it's hard to keep things neat. Like when we're in the studio working and making a video and outfit video specifically, it just becomes a complete disaster down here. It's like my closet explodes all over the studio, which is fine if I picked it up, but the way my life is now, I just, I just sometimes don't have the time or I don't make the time uh, to put everything back where it belongs and neaten the space up. So when it comes to the next time we need to work, it's a mess to start with and it gets even messier from there. And the worst part about it is not necessarily the mess though, that's definitely bad too, but it's the way that it affects me. It stresses me out, it makes me anxious, I'm less productive, everything suffers as a result. Now, studio aside from time to time, our house is immaculate. Like everything is put away, perfectly styled, there's no clutter. It looks like a freaking magazine, honestly. And that is because Robin is obsessive about keeping it this way for the exact same reasons that I can't stand when the studio is a disaster. It seems like a simple thing to do, but it's not easy, you know? Uh, you have to make the time, dedicated time, to keep things neat and organized. You'll learn why it's sometimes hard for me in the next section of this video, but following Robin's example here does improve my stress, productivity, and overall just kind of feeling good about things. So related to this specific thing, work-life balance, one of the stories that Robin loves to tell about me goes like this. So it was before we were married, she's still living in New York City, and pretty much every other weekend I'd be up there and we'd hang out, go out to eat, explore the city. So this particular time, uh, I think we'd probably just finished eating at Little Prince, which is a really nice casual little French place, and right around there, uh, kind of right at the corner of Sixth and Prince is this little park, and there are benches, and Robin suggested that we sit down and I smoke a cigar. And I kind of half jokingly said, why don't we just sit and do nothing? That's time that we could be doing something else like being productive or whatever. So I tend to be a workaholic and uh, that's generally the way I think. If I'm not doing something or working more specifically, that's time I'm wasting and I'm not gonna be able to get as much done as I should. Robin, however, is much better at drawing lines between, okay, I'm working now and I'm done with that and now it's time to relax. It wasn't the easiest thing for me to embrace, having operated in a completely different way for a very long time, and I have to admit that I sort of felt lazy uh, at first, but as things have changed in my life, you know, whether that's having more seniority and responsibility in my army job, and if you're new here and haven't followed the channel and didn't know that about me, I talk more about it in that video that I've got linked right up there. And with all that and trying to keep up with Eastpoke style, which has continued to grow, it would be very easy to get to a point where I'm just completely burned out. So I've learned, and Robin has helped teach me, about the value of downtime and what it does to recharge you physically, mentally, and emotionally. I've always been really thankful and appreciative of all the things that we have, the life we've made for ourselves. I'm pretty good at that. And when it comes to being thankful and showing gratitude towards others, it's something I definitely feel inside, but it's also something I don't express outwardly uh, maybe as much as I should. Robin is great at this. Uh, she's one of the most caring people I've ever met, and it doesn't matter who, friends, family, coworkers, she always goes out of her way to tell people that she appreciates them, the job they've done, and even just like randomly texting someone she hasn't talked to in a while to let them know that she's thinking about them. Like I said, I feel it inside, and sometimes I just assume that people can tell um, and that they definitely should know that I'm grateful for them, but as I'm told, that is not always the case. Like, for example, when Robin and I are getting ready to go out, she comes out, she looks amazing. I clearly see that and I assume that she can see that I see that. But if I don't say anything, there's no way for her to really know, right? When it comes to gratitude and you really break it down, it does kind of seem pretty simple. But for some people, like me, uh, it just takes that little extra effort to actually express it outwardly. But when you do, not only is it something that goes a long way and is very meaningful to the person you're expressing it to, uh, but it also makes you feel good to know that you've had a positive impact on someone. Thanks once again to T. Shanley for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder, 
click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off Teach Handly. And you'll also be able to choose a dop kit, hand towel, or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift with your first box.